Hey guys, this is a quick video on the map display for the DJI GO 4 app. The map is one of the most important navigational tools that you could use. It's going to show you the location of the drone and the pilot on the map, including the flown flight path and a direct path back to home, day or night. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. So one of the first things that you want to do when you start up your drone is to take a look at the map and make sure that you're located on the map according to where you're actually located. So I'm going to touch on the map on the bottom left, get a full screen display, and you always want to verify before you take flight that the home point is recorded properly on the map. H is for the home point, the red arrow is the aircraft, and the blue dot is the remote controller. I'm going to take a quick flight here, and you see that green line that's always going to be the direct path back to the home point. And that white line, of course, is the flight path. So I'm going to come to a stop here. I'm going to walk through the different icons on the top right of the screen. Standard display. Satellite display. and hybrid which is a combination of both of those that shows the satellite image and the street names. There's also this compass icon which adjusts according to which way you're facing with the remote controller. Touching on the H zooms in on the home point. Touching in on the aircraft symbol zooms in on the aircraft location. You could actually adjust the warnings that you get for the airspace that you're in. Finally, the eraser removes your fly path. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that green fly path to go ahead and fly back home. So you can see I'm just turning back in line with that green fly path, and I'm gonna Go ahead and move forward, get back home. So there is a little bit of a layout difference with a tablet. I'm using an iPad mini too, so I'm gonna show you that real quickly here. Touch here to minimize the display. Touch it again to bring it back up. And there's a zoom on the bottom left there. The other icons have already been explained. One last feature that I wanted to show you is the distance gauge that's visible on the top left of the display. This is a feature that's also visible in your phone device. Alright guys, so that is it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate you hitting that like button. Got a lot more videos coming up, so subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching you guys. Happy flying. Bye.